laughing it up here in the kitchen with my good buddy John Seahorn from Jiggy Ray's Pizza. I, w I do really wish that people had a had a camera on us during the during the commercial break. It's a good thing sometimes, they don't. Sometimes, sometimes we might go we might go viral <laughs> other than TV. But today you're talking about one of your favorites here, Jiggy Ray's, and that's the Hillbilly Pit Pie. Hillbilly Pit Pie, and it was a perfect day to do it. Coming on today, love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Yes, and. We just pulled the, the pork out of the oven. It smoked. It's about 16 hour process we do for the pork for this and the bull bites. Right. And uh, bull just spent his entire day smoking, smoking and cooking. So. So that's why he's not with us today. That's, yeah. He's he spent, probably he spent exhausted. His, he's exhausted he's from exhausted. smoking. Yeah. But smoking the meats. Though. That's what I mean. Yes. <laughs> that's a tax. You got to burn wood and look but at it. You brought and, this in this morning in the container and you took the cover off and mm, people came running just yes. from the aroma. Yes. I mean, it's so nice. Yes. But how you say how many hours total on this? About sixteen. Sixteen hours. Yeah. And you smoke it for these pit pies every and the bull bots. Yeah, we bull have two, bots. yeah our bull bots are on our appetizer list and we mm -hmm. put those oh they're so good. Mm -hmm. okay. On little crunchy toasted bread with yeah. bacon and cheese. Oh oh, yeah. oh I have I don't think I've tried those. Oh you should. Oh we're gonna have to go over and try those. Mm -hmm. But let's get started on this hillbilly let's pit do it. pie. All right. All right. So we the got fun the fun part. I was gonna let yeah. you throw the dough, but no, we'll, we'll no, do that no. on We gotta get we gotta have we gotta move. We gotta have the dough looking good. So same way we throw it. Uh huh. Gotta get the crust up. Press it out a little bit, stretch it, move it around and around. We could sing while we remember something. How long did it take you to learn to do this? I mean, seriously, when you first started. <laughs> it, took, not, it wasn't that bad. Once I got my process yeah. done, it took me a couple weeks. To yeah. get, it, get it right without tearing the dough in 30 different places. And right. Getting my crust where I want it without smashing the dough and getting everything right. And, and stretching it and stuff. And, and you want to you want to work the dough, but you don't want to overwork it because it'll make no, it tough. Right. Yeah. yeah. You want that chewing. That's the yeah. caputo flour we use is what I swear by for why our uh, crust. We don't have crust left on people's plates. Right. They're so good, and you can get a dipping sauce. I don't remember any sauces, and it's just we don't have it left because it's so good. I know a lot fluffy. of people call those the, the ends, the crust ends. You know, the pizza bones. Right. There ain't the no bones. pizza bones left. No bones left. Right. No bones. All right. So we're going to you're working this out here. You got a stretcher. And the caputo flour. The That's caputo. something y'all oh, use so for all good. your pizzas. We do. And it's and the thing is with that, it just makes the pizza so uh, so fluffy and it just throws well and it tastes good. It's got all those little components that a pizza needs, you know what I mean? Man, you, you make that look so oh, easy. So you make it look so it's easy. So beautiful. <laughs> this is our jiggy sauce. Okay. Jiggy sauce we make in-house. This is a signature sauce come up with by Brad Hacker. And yep. and uh, we make this all the time. This goes on our hillbilly pit pie. And okay. it, you can smell it. It's a, oh, it, you can. Uh, it's a little different than any barbecue sauce you're, you're going to try in most and places. And it, it almost looks like regular pizza sauce, but it's it's got a barbecue component yeah, to it. Yeah, stick your finger in there and try that. Well, yeah. uh, you feel just free. a little bit there. See your reaction. Because you go, mm -hmm. boo, boo, boo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Now. We do about four portions of pork on this thing because it's like getting a pig sandwich at some of the famous <laughs> barbecue joints, which we're right. barbecuers at heart, right? But we love our pizza too. And it's a tapalachin. It's a tapalachin. I love that yeah, term. Yeah, I, I really, on, It's not yeah. a tapalachin. No, it's a tapalachin. Don't say Asian. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> from out of towners. They don't they don't get it. That's all right. All but right. you got to have a massive amount of pork on this bad boy. Okay. So you are putting a massive amount. Oh, it's got to be heavy. Here, one's one's escaped on you. Don't we'll let throw it fly. There we go. There we go. Now. Once you get that on there, this is very simple, simple pie because you want to be able to taste the pork, so it's not a lot of cheese on this bad boy okay. either. Just enough to cover it so it doesn't burn in the oven. Little mozz on there? Mm-hmm. All right. Got to get your mozzarella, y'all. Now, where do you get your mozzarella from? This is the Boccio brand, top of the line cheese. We blend it ourselves. You get it, and you can, you can, we do a provolone and a mozzarella, Parmesan. Uh, because blend. you have so it's many different pizzas and sandwiches, you got to have some different cheeses You do. For yeah, yeah, we do our, we do our cheddars. We like our sharp cheddars. We, Cheese is just better when it's fresh and it doesn't yeah. have fillers on it and right. it just tastes a lot better. Same thing with our Parmesan. This is off the block. It's just better. So you just go double the cheese up here. Yep, got to put the parm on there. That's the flavor, baby. All right, we've got about 30 seconds. So All right, we're 30 gonna... seconds. Then bacon, not a whole All lot because right. you don't want to kill the pork. But I, I want to let folks know we're going to come back here in just a few minutes. Mm, look at that. And we're going to show you the finished product. Oh, we're going to eat some too. And we're going to eat some. Mm, they also have a couple of new things on their menu that we want to show you showcase as well. It's Jiggy Ray's Pizza. It's right there in downtown Elizabeth and on Elk Avenue. There's their number. There's their website. Check out their website for all of everything that's going on. They got great music. We're going to talk about that as well in just a few moments. 